Ladies and gentlemen, voted Long Island's best podcast by a bot farm in Russia. It's the Adult Baby Show. I'm a sweet boy. I'll let a girl <laughs> suck any part of me. I mean, yeah. honestly. It's just in my mouth, just. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like I'll try anything once. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Except getting to work on time. <laughs> <laughs> you just ruined my day. Fuck your day. Oh, well, let's get the feet involved. It's not a nut. Maybe I shouldn't say that out loud with you. Some people yeah. are absolutely huh? disgusted by me. He ain't lying. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Adult Babies Podcast, episode 302. I am B. I'm Chick. I'm Ryan. We are back, baby. Talking shorts. Talking things. All talking things. Talking Trump. Talking shorts. Talking Trump. Talking everything. Chick's de- just determined to burn every good topic before we start recording. I swear, recording. he gets here and he just... Everything good he has to say... And we then hear I get it. on him when you ask me, like, ah, I got nothing. I got nothing. Yeah. And then, I swear to God, the whole ride here, he's telling me all about everything. And I'm like, I just save it. I, I yeah. just want, I want he to. didn't say that once. <laughs> well, because it, it doesn't make sense. In my head, I'm thinking that. He's a big liar, I've noticed. Oh, is that what you've noticed? <laughs> on, uh, no, not. let me rephrase that. When it comes to like things that happen with us on the way here, you mm-hmm. always just... Make things up. Oh wait, I embellish it for comedy pers- purposes no, on a you comedy just podcast. Lie, it's not. It's not lying. It's not lying, chick. You just make things up. You because it's it's not worth telling you the same thing you've been told a hundred, three hundred and two times. <laughs> That's why. It's like, all right, he's just what are you gonna do? You can't stop him from being chick, right? Nope. Nope. Chick's gonna chick. Chick's gonna chick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, so we had a crazy weekend. Crazy weekend, yeah. I was in uh, Rhode Island, <laughs> <laughs> and so that's not Trump that got shot, yeah. <laughs> or almost. Well, you, not. you act like those two things were somehow yeah. connected. No, they weren't. It just don't. So I was in go... Connecticut, and Trump <laughs> got shot. <laughs> I love the way my, my mother texted me today. You weren't in Pennsylvania yesterday, by any chance, were you? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, so what you what did you guys feel when you saw that? Um. I feel like I thought it was a lot crazier than everyone else was acting. Everyone was like, oh, it's, it's an ear. I'm like, yeah, but it could have been. Imagine, like, on video, the, his yeah. head getting shot. Well, that like, was that what I was nuts. saying is, like, so the JFK assassination was, like, we got lucky that we were able to see it. Not lucky, <laughs> but <laughs> lucky, yeah. But there was lucky you got evidence him. evidence through yeah. it. So I mean, you would you know this would have been and it's old video. It's like bad. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, like shaky video. Old this was like video. 4K. This was shot on him. Someone calls we would have seen an assassination in 1080p. <laughs> <laughs> but it's no. true. And any further assassination, if uh, if, if, if you know what I'm saying, <laughs> <Was that? laughs> I, I, I'm unsure. Assassination. Sure, assassination. Um. <laughs> We're gonna see that if somebody attempts to shoot a president, yeah. and they are successful, we are gonna see that live like that. Like yeah. it, there's yeah. no more black and white. Like we're gonna right. see it in 4K. Yeah, and that's crazy. I know. I, don't, I mean, I couldn't. I wouldn't be able to watch that. Like, I, I would can't. be able to watch oh, it probably a couple times. Yeah. You, you watch it. I watch, watch it a couple times. You watch it a few times and and visit the location that yeah, it I happened. would definitely Come visit on. the location. But I just heard people being like, "Ah, oh, it's in the air," you know. I'm like, "Yeah, but it was the, it was." I think this it's, close from I not agree being totally here. Like with that, you, I don't like, understand. How everyone was just like, that's throwing, crazy. they're making it. They're saying like, that's somebody I don't, died. Like the memes yes. and the jokes about it. I'm like, this isn't that funny. Well, and like, I'm not have been great. Yeah. Yeah, I can't see. I'm not saying I can't understand the humor behind it, but I'm just like, I can't believe that it was a joke so quickly. It was like oh, this I guy know. came inches away from having his head blown off, and everyone's <laughs> like, the meme started immediately. Oh, right. Me- it felt like the memes almost started like as the shots were being fired. The yeah, memes it was were crazy out. to me. I, yeah, you know, and like you were saying before, like I, as much as I don't like Trump, like <laughs> well, it it. It wouldn't have solved anything. It would. It, it would have been. It would have been riots, him, riots in the street. Him. It would have more division. Like oh, it, it would. Yeah. I feel like it would have thrown us into like a civil war almost. And I feel Absolutely. like if that would, it would have been worse for this country. Somebody's gonna shoot Biden next, and then it would just been like a, a fucking yeah. world war going on. Yes, and we, we earlier we talked about when you said you said we can't just be killing our leaders left and right. I'm like, I don't know. I mean, it's like, yeah. yeah. Well, it's it's funny because I always joked around because I hate so many of them, and I was like, you need to bring assassinations back. And then when one almost happened, you're like, yeah, eh, yeah this it's is pretty crazy. It feels the last feels, thing you feels want. kind of dark. It does. It's like yeah. it's, it's funny to talk about when you don't think it's true. Actually, happened, and then yeah. when it happens, you're like, because yeah. you just we just take for granted that the 
you know, the Secret Service is so good at their job that it's just like impossible these days. Mm-hmm. And then he realized, like, oh wow, like it's it was like this. a complete meltdown. Apparently, I yeah. mean, without getting into conspiracy theories already, it just seemed very weird how it all happened. Yeah, well, I always think like, what if a Secret Service agent was like wanted him assassinated? Like, what if what if it's, it's we're so yeah, we're, we're everybody's so. Divided. Divided and so many so such strong opinions and, and such so much hatred. What if you work for this for the Secret Service and you're like, I would love if somebody took this guy out. Yeah. And, and like you're and you I don't see, want to give up my life. And you to see him. a guy who's got a, a rifle pointed at him and like, what if I just don't do anything about this? What if I let him take the shot? Yeah. And then I'll shoot him. And then I'll shoot him. <laughs> yeah. Like that's all it takes. <laughs> you is, gotta is, be a really like, those guys gotta have opinions and, and feelings too. Like yeah, they're but not they just gotta cold. be really screwed up. If they're like if they're that far in the Secret Service, they're in the Secret Service and like their opinions are that far, like that they hate this guy. Yeah, but that's they're, a but, problem. But they're also guys that know him, like they spend time with him, maybe. So they might like him more, or they might hate him more. Yeah, you because probably of that. you probably do. And get, like they're not machines; that's scary. they're just people. They are yeah. people. Uh, well, that was the thing is that apparently they showed one of the guys, and they said that he had him in the scopes, and he was either didn't shoot right away or. Was waiting for approval. Like nobody mm-hmm. knows. Yeah. That's why it all, everything just seemed fucking weird. It does seem weird. It just and seems like there was some sort of inside job on some part. Who that, knows? I'll tell you. That guy did look like a shooter. They shooters yeah. have like uh, the, like a head like a beluga whale, like a big <laughs> head. Yeah, you ever yeah. see that? Notice that? Yeah. They're like, I mean, I, I was tell they're fucked up. Bef- I was saying before they released the name, I'm like, I hope they don't release the name, like because all these people, it just that just always inspires people to do it more because. They, yeah. want to, they want to they be famous. Him. They want to be famous after. Yeah. And if you know, like, yeah, that guy, he's dead, so he's not famous. But part of him is, like, they want to leave a legacy behind. Mm, I, maybe. And these shooters, they they, all they want they want that name. The so big ones, it's, It inspires the next one to be like, oh, I'll make a name for myself. Yeah, yeah I'll be dead. I won't, know, I won't know it, but... I think they stopped giving out shooters on other active situations... Like uh, you know, at a school or school yeah. shooting, they have they, they have. stopped. Uh, they don't really. If you know, if you pay attention to it, they don't tell you the name anymore. Yeah, for also, that reason, we do know the name, but I haven't seen the name out. Of, like it, it's not so much in the news where where they mention. Yeah, I didn't. I never found like so, like I was Thomas I Crook was with Monique like and she told me the yeah. name. And I was like, like oh, you, they did they did find the guy. They, they find they, the name. They, they released it because this yeah. is a big. But they waited thing. a while, and that was the other thing people were complaining about. They had it that night. But they didn't give it out until later yeah. that night. Like, why are they waiting? Yeah, so I, was, long? I didn't want it to give it out at all. But once yeah. they gave it out, I was happy to see who it was because I'm like, all right, this is just a young kid who was like looked like a guy who was gonna. It was just he was messed up in the a head. Mental fucking. Yeah. So crazy. I hope that the Trump supporters can see like oh, this no. wasn't our side. This nope. was like a this was a lone lunatic. So don't. Go attack him. Already, they're already the blaming Biden for it. Right. I would love if this. I, there, there was like a. Slight... He's like, but he's like too dumb to be associated with anybody. To any, to any, <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. I had like a slight glimmer of like maybe this will make us all realize that this has gone too far. But mm, no. no, you know what it did? <laughs> the complete opposite. And both sides, I, yeah. both sides are just. It's it's the. Well, the other the left is saying they wish he would have died. And, like, I even made a couple jokes in the beginning, like, you know, to my friends on things like, uh, you know. You said that right made. here before. Yeah, but I was joking. I wasn't, yeah, like, I serious. Like, if I'm being honest, like, my initial reaction was like, God, like, so close. But, <laughs> it, like, that's just how, because only because I just, you, 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 want, you want an end. I, well, I hate him, but I also just want an end to the discussion. Like, I feel like that's yeah. like a cancer. That's like the center cancer. Well. But it's all, but then you sit with it a minute, you're like, okay, that, I've, now I feel like, I feel Gross that I had that feeling. Well, I didn't feel first. gross that I just realized it would have been a bigger shit show. If it would have been, been a bigger been. show. And it's also like I don't know. I just when you think about it for a little while, like it's really wrong. Like oh yeah, to you take should. those matters. Like that's just that's just dead. not just because the way, that's that, just not the way to handle anything. This is how messed up we are, though. Yeah. There, where some people are like, or like he should be dead. That's yeah. so that's right. what a I was crazy say. thing so, to yeah, think. Yeah. I unfollowed yeah. almost any outspoken Trump. Trumper on my Facebook, I had to unfollow. Yeah. Because that was the thing that bothered me is that like, all right, he survived. And I get that everyone's sharing the memes. Some of them are funny. But the the idiocy that I've heard coming out of people's mouths was just like, if you don't like Trump now or you didn't, then that's it. I'm over, I'm done with the whole other side. Unfriend me, unfacebook me. So I abide oblige a lot <laughs> yeah, of them. And I'm like, I will, a lot of I will happily unfollow you now because you're a fucking loser and yeah. you 
a clueless and you're just a fucking idiot. You're a sheep fucking idiot. Yeah. But anyway, they were putting like uh, God protected Trump, so now he's going to protect us. What about, what about his supporter that got killed? Like yeah. he, God yeah. didn't protect him. Like he yeah. was okay. That's mm-hmm. true. Well, that's, that's my point. point. It's just and and so I realized I don't. I hate Trump, but I hate the followers who are just obsessed with him more than I hate anybody. Yeah. And that's what really I just couldn't. I can't look at it. Yeah. I don't like the lunatics on both sides. Neither though. do I. Yeah. Like they were like there's just a I don't know what is going it's on. Crazy. Do you remember, like, after 9-11, like, we, we really were, like, pretty united? Yes. Um, do you think if something like that happened, we, I don't think it would happen the same I way. I don't. No. I don't. I, I think it could still, but I think it would be so short-lived. It would be. Like, 9-11 felt like it lasted for a pretty decent amount of time. Yeah. I feel like if something like that happened, it would get, like, a few days of people kind of, like... The, the, but the conspiracy theories would start automatically. Oh. It would be who's responsible for this. It would not be like, we got to just stick together and, like... Stand against the enemy that is obvious. It would be like, well, yeah. who's the enemy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah. then we'd have different opinions on that. And that's still the thing right now is nobody knows exactly what happened, why this yeah. thing. So there's still a ton of questions. Yeah, yeah. Well, and it's just going to lead to more angry people. And yeah. now he's going to win by a landslide. Oh, I, uh, yeah. So, so, and then when I saw the picture, I'm like, that picture. <laughs> by the way, I'm like that. That picture just won in the election. Yeah, <laughs> hands down. He was like, because even, <laughs> even I'm like, even I'm like, that's a pretty fucking. It cool was bad. <laughs> that was a badass fucking yeah. moment yeah. for him. Uh-huh. I don't care where you stand. Even if you hate him, you got to be like, all right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's America right there. Yeah. Just getting yeah. shot in the yeah. ear. Yeah. Like, I like how he's just surrounded by people's hairs all over the place. Yeah. And he's just pumping blood on his face. Service trying to drag him down because they're also in the way now. Yeah. And he's like, yeah. And there's just a big flag behind them. I'm like, if they had the flag behind him, it was like the most American moment. I'm like, I might vote for this guy. It it literally, (laughs) you go from, if you you don't like Trump, you you go from like almost like, oh my God, he was almost dead. To like, yeah. oh my God, this guy's this fucking guy's badass. badass. <laughs> yeah. This is America. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I know. Oh, there's, no, there's, no, it, there's no, in my opinion, there's no doubt that he loses now. Like, did he win? Did he win? Oh, no, I don't even yeah. think it's going to be close. Yeah, I, I don't think it's going to be close. Yeah. Um, I was telling Chick, my it was, mom. It was like a, it was like a, it was a meme for like many men. Like with 50 oh, cent many was was great. I yeah, saw like, the many men video like, with him walking around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. What were you saying? I was saying my, I, I was I was in Fire Island when this happened. I was with my parents and uh we were hanging out on the back porch. My dad went in and goes, they just tried to shoot Trump. And we 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 run inside. Yeah. My mom's a big Trump, not tr- uh uh Biden guy. Okay. Um girl. Girl, whatever. <laughs> Listen, on, on this guy, on this on this podcast, this podcast it's guys, it's guys. Yeah. Uh, she's a, she's a Biden guy, um, but also like I I I am as well. But but I also see that there's problems. I, yeah. I I'm not I'm not a Biden guy. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm not yeah. a Biden guy. Either. Which is it's yeah. me and my dad are like, all right, we get it. She's yeah. more like I don't like this Trump. He's yeah, a racist that's, asshole. That's what right? every Biden fan is just uh, well, it's yeah. Right. I heard some woman just like I, you know I don't like Biden, but she goes I'd vote for a, a mop bucket before I voted for Trump, and I'm like that's <laughs> you know, that's kind of how people are. And, and and you know Biden is pretty close, close to a, to a mop, mop bucket, bucket. So. It, it is. <laughs> yeah. So like what you just said, like I kind of like like to mess with my mom, where like I'll make Biden jokes, and she's yeah. like ah, <laughs> she doesn't like to hear it. Yeah. So like right after the five minutes after it happened, I'm like oh my god, uh, Biden made a statement. And my, they're like, what? What did he say? I'm like, he said, I can't believe they tried to shoot Harry Truman. And my mom's like, ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> That's good. But it is weird that automatically, like, within five minutes, you're, like, thinking of jokes for this. You know what I mean? Were, yeah, I wasn't. I'm not. You know, I, was. <laughs> yeah. I was. I was doing a show the next day. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, do I bring this in? Yeah, you're in that world. But, you have to, but. I, I've never. I didn't. I've never been a fan of topical jokes. Like, I'm not. I okay. just. If I see a good, for, for, same here, by the way. Like creating one, uh, if I see one, I'm like, oh, that's fine. That's a good take on it. But I'm not like on Twitter looking at I saw jokes. one him as the I'm Matrix, not. Neo. Yeah. He's ducking the bullets oh. coming all around him. It was yeah. great. And people are like saying, like, this, oh, Sam Merrill posted a good joke. Mark Norman posted a good joke. And I heard the jokes. I'm like, eh, they're, f- eh, they're fine. Like, I'd rather. I don't, I don't I've never heard a topical joke that blew me out. Yeah, well, you're you know what I mean? Like, oh my god! Like, yeah. it th- and it doesn't let la- yeah. you. Like, you're bent over. And you're like, that's so funny. You're like, oh, that's, that's clever. Oh, but that's, that's also maybe because I can't write that way. Like, I'm doing. Yeah. I was talking to my my buddy today. I'm I'm set to do a, uh, I don't know, some sort of a podcast in August. And the idea is to write thirty monologue jokes 
and that's not my style at all. Mm. But I'm like, yeah, it'll be good exercise and writing. Yeah, that's good. But I'm like, I don't even know where to start with that stuff. Yeah. I am so it's I a like different skill set. You're not that type different, of comic. Different. Yeah. yeah. You not at all. Pretend you're a talk show host and you're gonna do. Like I know. It's all topical fucking jokes, basically. So I'm like, right? ah. and it just feels like a lot of work for like stuff that's going to be gone tomorrow it's so yeah. hard to write anything funny that it's like i don't want to waste it yeah i always wondered if i i was wondering if i could do those top of yeah the monologue jokes i'm you gonna do it just because i, I yeah. like the writing exercise of it i think to I was do that, you have doing... to be well versed and know what's going on it makes it a lot easier not yeah. easier but i would imagine yeah it but help. maybe i think maybe i would like the jokes that aren't well informed because maybe maybe if you're not informed you come at it from a different angle that's that true. i would yeah. not like yeah. like Making references that aren't like topical on top of topical, because a lot of times topical jokes are like a reference to another topical mm-hmm, thing, mm-hmm. and maybe you know I would put like a personal spin on it. Yeah, I like, I like, like that. Just, like out of left field a little bit. Yeah, we should do sure. an exercise. We we come up with a topic and we all have to write. Well, jokes I'm already it. doing it, so <laughs> I'm I'm gonna start tomorrow. Let's so. see how you do. Let's see, I don't all think right, it'll well, be good. I, yeah, I think that's about. All right, we've we're, reached. Yeah, uh, I, I think everyone is. Yeah, you know, we've reached that, of that, and it's going to be going on for yeah. The rest so onto of... onto my shorts. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> your shorts, his yeah. shorts, my shorts. Well, my I, shorts are the same shorts. old. Yeah, but that's let's gross. Talk about yours. I, just, like I got these from uh, Sheen. They're not corduroy. I said they look yeah. like corduroy. Oh, they're not, yeah. So I just got them from Sheen. You ever bought anything from Sheen? They're not corduroy. <laughs> <laughs> I've never <laughs> bought anything from Sheen. So I've been I hit or miss. Sometimes you get it, it's like really cheap, but that's not really the fascinating part about it, but. I ordered two different orders, and then um, I forgot. I guess I, I noticed on the second order that I had my old address in Patrog. Oh, so no. I got. I, I, I look. I didn't realize, and I searched, and I said, "Oh, everything's been delivered." So I got this, and a shirt came, and I'm like, "Oh, where are my other two shirts?" Like I didn't get them, so I looked in the order, and they went to the, my address in Patrog. And how do how do I get them? You gotta <laughs> go to your address, and you gotta be that idiot who steals the package. But it's not. No. Well, it's first of all, it's already. It's, it's just already a couple days there. ago. It got there, and it's uh, you have to be buzzed in to like. There's an entrance <sighs> way, and I have to you go gotta to, like, take your chances and buzz it in. So I'm gonna. I have happens. to go there and buzz like, hey, like hope that he's hope that they're home, whoever it is. And I go like, hey, by any chance did you get a package delivered? And then hope that they didn't take it. Yeah. And like like no, we didn't get it. Like would you? It's a good person to be like, yeah, I, I you got gotta it. You got to hope that mm-hmm. it was a good person who went. Yeah. If so not, I, I think, those things, I'm so mad because I drove, something. I didn't know that until today, and I drove past, my, I literally was walked, I went to my old complex yesterday, just for old time's sake, me and my only went to Patrick, I said, oh. Oh, let's, I said, let's park in my old complex, and I said, I used to walk into town, let's, let's see, you know, it's for memory's sake, let's, do let's it. park here, and I, I will walk into Patrick and get dinner. So we did that, I'm like, I was literally, I walked right past my apartment, I could have rang oh. my guy's doorbell then and done it, and I got to go back there and... Well, I have experience with this. Do you? I a few years ago, uh, I bought a cell phone case, and it went to my old apartment I that was I was going to say. Isn't that just your parents' house? That- no, no. This is, this is- <laughs> hey, mom, mom, dad, can I get my package? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that no, big no, of a deal. This is, this is before my parents' house. Okay, I lived in like a few different locations. So okay. the the one place, and it was right in Farmingdale. So. Um, the day of, I saw, oh, it got delivered, and I saw, they you know, they send the picture of, uh-huh. it was my, my old apartment. <laughs> so I went right over there. It was obviously delivered. I knock on the door. I'm like, hey, I'm sorry. Guy looks at me, goes, I, I don't think so. And then he went and talked to his daughter, and no, we didn't get anything. I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. And I you woke saw the pic- you, I would have shown the picture. I, I, I was so like, uh, I don't do well in those situations. Yeah, you don't. I was like, oh, <laughs> they blatantly I, stole your iPhone. Sorry to bother cover. you. Yeah. Amazon ended up sending uh, a, a new one. Um, um, really? For, they no, did. for no charge? For no charge. Even though it was your complete mess up. You didn't change yeah, your address. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't think Sheen operates that way. Even, Amazon, they, they, I don't even think Sheen allows returns. I so know Amazon, not. <laughs> Amazon's not a great company, but like with stuff like oh, that, they're not they're a great f- company with how they treat their drivers. Other than that, they're fantastic. Yeah, but, they take returns like <laughs> no but, questions asked. Yeah, but yeah, like, y- you can get anything. Like they'll if if you have to return something, they're like you can keep it or you can return mm-hmm. it. Man, we don't. Care. Every time you said I can return, it's like, I just keep it. Yeah, yeah. Like, they usually do because okay. everybody always gets double orders. Yeah, yeah so it's like, one if it's anything under like fifteen dollars, they're like just keep it. And I think it was a ten dollar phone. Amazon cases. is right. fantastic with that. It's just yeah. that, that they don't care about their drivers and they hold them to a ridiculous yeah. standard. Luckily, I'm dealing with clothes, so hopefully it went to somebody who has no use for the clothes that I ordered. Like right. One of them was like, a, you know, pretty, uh, I don't know. 
I don't know what that means. It's a pretty. Uh, Wait, what does that it's mean? It's like a silky type of shirt. Not silk. <laughs> it's not silk. It's not silk. It's not, it's silk, not but like it's a like, plain white tee that everybody yeah, could use. Yeah, it's got like palm trees on it. You know, it's a fun. <laughs> it's a fun, adventurous shirt. shirt all right. That all if right. maybe a woman lives there now, so maybe she's got no use for it. And the yeah. other one's like a winter shirt. Bald all right. eagles. What about them? You guys, that was that somebody's chimney that that thing yeah, was. Yeah, so that thing that. Every day, I think is there. Wait, there's what two happened? Of them. There's two of them there. If that so was my posted... house, I would feel so great. That would be amazing. And when he goes, "Do you think they know?" I'm like, "The fucking things are here every day. Yeah, they know." And I miss. And there's there's always people parked outside the house. Every day. Yeah. yeah. What the hell are you talking about? I missed I posted, this whole thing. Well, Monique posted a picture of uh, we saw a couple of bald eagles on oh. Road. So I'll, I'll, I love bald eagles. So we'll start. I'll talk about my day. You guys had more exciting weeks yeah, than, I, than I did, but I'll, I'll we'll breeze past mine. So yeah, uh, Sunday. Sunday, we um, went out to Dune Road, which is like my favorite, yeah. one of my favorite places on the island. I don't know if you've ever driven up Dune Road. Very much so. So we wanted, to, we always wanted to be uh, in the ocean at sunrise. That was like something we had on a list of things to do, is to like go to the beach before sunrise, ah. like get in the ocean and like watch the sunrise from the ocean. Jesus. Did you accomplish it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we did it. We didn't go that far because it was pretty Cold. cold. I was <laughs> yeah. just gonna say you need like we a wetsuit for we that. We were in, you know, up to our, you know, yeah, yeah. Gen- our generals were in, which is the hardest. Far deep as you're going. That's as deep as I go yeah. on a hot day in yeah. an afternoon. And I asked her after. I said, "How were? How much were you thinking about sharks while you were there?" She goes, "Until I got in, not much." Because once I was in, I was pretty much always I was thinking about was That's sharks. Like feeding time yeah. too, if I'm not. And mistaken. I said, "I said I think that might be like when they're most, you know, active, aggressive. Yeah. Really? Huh? I think so. Like if somebody's." Heard like yeah, these two idiots got eaten in the ocean. Like what? You know, they were there first thing in the morning. Well, what, who would do that? Yeah. <laughs> like uh, I guess I didn't do my research. Bucket list. Yeah, <laughs> that would definitely be something if it made the news. Chick would talk. These idiots. They want to see the sunrise. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't a great sunrise, which is which was too bad. It was like uh, it was it was nice. It was colorful, but yeah, we didn't get like the. Uh, it was like a little cloudy in the distance, but mm. we still did the thing. So then we were just driving up. We spent like pretty much the whole day. We went to West Hampton. Got. Breakfast and spend the day, but they're just like literally went up and down Dune Road because I love there's a lot of birds on Dune Road. Yeah, so we wanted to do a lot of bird photos and we got caught a couple of uh, birds we haven't seen before. So, but yeah, then on that roof is every day I pass there for when I'm working, I see bald eagles there, hmm. and there's two of them because at one point there was two there probably, at the same yeah. time. So that's just where they hang out. That's awesome. Yeah, I saw one flying in into it and land on that thing. So. uh yeah, it was just like if you guys, if, if anyone the wants to go to next time I'm out photos. there, let me. I'm I'm gonna text you because I I you know I can send I you I can send the exact location right, and go good. there. Yeah, um, but then we went. I had uh, lunch reservations at Dockers on Dune Road. Mm-hmm. Um, so we went there and I got a main treat meat right there. They go. They, they mm-hmm. deliver that? Yeah, yes, yeah. I deliver, we just go to those. I was too. just gonna ask you how the meat was, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but I got a. Uh, lobster roll for one hundred and fifty five dollars. <laughs> lobster roll. Was it worth one hundred and fifty five dollars? No, no, not at all. Um, so it didn't say the price on it when I ordered it. Uh, so, but I knew it was going to be expensive. Oh, I don't like that. So it says it says, it says market price, right? So yeah, you know, yeah. So there's three lobster roll options, and they all said market price. And I, I don't know. Can you ask when something says market price? What's can the market you ask that right now? Can you ask? Yeah. I feel it, like it, those places, like people who normally eat there, probably don't care about the prices. They don't ask. The, the, the thing is, if you have to ask, you can't afford it, right? Yeah. That's always the thing. So I'm like, I'm not asking. So, I said, <laughs> yeah. so the name of the, there was three different lobster rolls. This one was called the Cadillac Lobster Roll. Already not a good start for the price. Yeah, when no. you call it something Cadillac, I'm a lobster roll's big. Like I don't, I'm a, f- I'm like a rookie with. This the, was with- like a hot dog roll, like but like a good size hot dog roll, not like. A small one, and then you know it was like the sliced New England style hot dog rolls, where it's sliced in the top. Why is a lobster roll so expensive? Well, because it was uh, truffle butter, toasted. Uh, Did you know there's truffle butter? Yeah, in it the was the whole. The oh, whole so you knew. You, you knew. And it was and it was topped with caviar. Oh. <laughs> That's so between truffle butter, lobster roll, caviar. Uh, cold, it was called the Cadillac. Yeah, it's uh, a thing. top Mar- line. Mar- market yeah. price. So I knew what I was getting into when I ordered it. But I said, so the, before that, the most expensive lobster roll I've ever had was in Maine. It was like forty bucks for a lobster mm-hmm. roll, and that's the best lobster roll I've ever had, and still is. This thing comes nowhere close to it. I like a warm butter lobster roll. That's my preference. This was cold 
mayo, like a lobster roll salad. Still, yeah. it was excellent. It was like the best of those I've ever had for sure. Yeah. And the ca- I like caviar sometimes, so that was that was good on top of so it. So the caviar added to it. I feel like sometimes people yeah. just I would never throw expensive caviar. shit on it no, to it make good. it. It was good. Yeah. No, Why I is caviar adds. so expensive? It's just hard to harvest. I guess to, I don't, I don't know anything get about it. About it. It's just you got to push it out it. of a fish or something, right? Yeah, I think it's just... Is that know, what it is? It's an expensive process to get, I guess. It's, it's fish... Uh, uh, eggs? Eggs, yeah. yeah. Um, so, and they, and they loaded it, too. Like, it came out, I'm like, they really... Uh, yeah. So... They took three fish to... And I told Monique, because I mean, I'm like, this is going to be, like, I'm like, expensive. I'm like, this might be, like, $90. She goes, no. I go, really might be, like, $90, you know, for, for real. <sighs> And I said, I'll honestly, as long as it's not over two hundred dollars, I'll be, I'll be okay with. It. Like I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm like, if it's, if I come out, this thing's three hundred dollars because you know, you know, with these places, sometimes. right, right. And everything, everything on the menu, but it had a price on it was expensive to start with. So I knew, all right, we're dealing with expensive stuff. Cadillac. Did you know caviar. that going into this place that it was an expensive yeah, yeah, place? Yeah, it's an expensive. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. It's on the water. It's like we sat, you know, our prime here, location. Here, prime location. Water right there. There's like people doing paddleboard yoga right there. There's people kayaking. It was like a perfect spot. Beautiful. But I'm like, so halfway through the meal, the owner comes over and like just starts to say, hey, hi, just thank you guys for joining us. Appreciate you coming out. Didn't stop at any other table. And I'm like, yeah. So, <laughs> so as, he, as I mean, I'm like, and I'm like, he comes over. Anybody, I think Monique said that. She goes, she goes, he came over because you wanted the Cadillac lobster roll. He yeah. came over. Anybody who orders that, he comes over and says hi. Mm-hmm. And then I got my busted up Volkswagen Golf and took off, and they're probably like, he didn't have the money for that thing. <laughs> yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah, he thinks he's big time, and he's got, he's, he doesn't have what it takes to be ordering that. But I like I can't. I would rather pay two hundred dollars this thing than ask. What's the market at? I totally agree with you. <laughs> yeah. What uh, what did Monique order? Uh, what Do you remember? She only had a yeah. salad because he couldn't afford the rest of the <laughs> yeah. meal. <laughs> She's like, I'll just have a water with lemon. Oh God, I'm usually pretty good at remembering that too. I think I was I was like sweating about my meal, so I think I blacked yeah, out. You blacked what out. What she got? That. Was it? Like, do you remember what the bill came out to around? Yeah. I mean, because if you. yours is one fifty. Yeah, with t- with by the way, a tip on top of it. We well, got to tip it, yeah. Yeah, but you're tipping so on top you're of 150. So you looking at about a $300 bill probably. Or 280, 250. Yeah. Um Yeah, I think I can yeah, I can look on my Apple mm-hmm. cards. <laughs> look at my uh I looked $304 total. 304. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And we, we know, neither one of us drink, so that yeah. helps. Like the, you know, that helps if a you lot. had alcohol to that, you, you, three fifty. Yeah, it's oh yeah, yeah you might crazy. hit four. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What did she get? I feel uh, sorry to uh, call you out. <laughs> I thought you were more aware of your surroundings. But I was. Yeah, I usually am. Listen, whatever she got, it wasn't the Cadillac. Blackened of, mahi. Blackened mahi, maybe. What did you get? <laughs> it wasn't the Cadillac yeah, of lobster rolls. No, it wasn't. No, yeah. I appreciate her not getting that. She you think like that lobster. was the most expensive thing on the menu? Oh, it well, been, yeah, right? no, absolutely, yeah. yeah. And what I know the chef a little bit. She was like, "We'll get two of those." <laughs> no, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, we'll get one. We'll split one, and we'll get. Yeah. Then you got to think about asking more price because <laughs> yeah. I mean that you don't yeah. know, right? I would have had to walk out of that place and been like, "So, well, what do I got to do to work this off?" Yeah, I, that's why I was saying. I'm like, how you guys set for dishwashers back there? Pretty good. <laughs> and I know the chef pretty good. Like he used to work in another place I deliver, and um, I went to go visit him once. He knows. Like, he's like, this is just the delivery guy order. Yeah, yeah and he's and, and he was he was like, man, what Cisco's guys are getting paid pretty yeah. well these days. Like, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> he notices you. He gives you. He has my resume. <laughs> he's the only guy I've ever like talked to while I delivered to him because I he used to work at another place in Southampton, and I was like, oh, I made reservations. Like, I'm, I'm coming to eat here tonight. He's like, oh, come, you know, tell him. You know, they, when you're here, I'll, I'll come out. I'll say hi, and like he gave me a free dessert. I've never done that with my job ever. I've never like communicated with a chef, but he always seemed like a super guy, super super nice guy. Yeah. So then he moved to this place, and I've been I've talked to him there. So when yeah. I see him again, I'm like, oh, I had the Cadillac lobster roll. He's gonna be like, really? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you were that guy. <laughs> the market yeah. was down. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. You know, it's funny you say that because I, I a lot of restaurants I go to, I often think, should I say something? And then in that moment, I would say it like, hey, I'm, I'm going to be here tonight. Yeah. Or whatever. But I feel like when I get there, I wouldn't know how to tell, yeah. like, what do you tell the maitre d'? By exactly. the way, I delivered to the chef. 
<laughs> yeah, Tubble yeah. Chef, the delivery well, this boys meat here. You're sending out tonight. I brought that. Here. <laughs> like I don't know. I don't know. Like they'll they'll be like, they'll do the nice thing exactly like you said. Yeah. Like you know, tell tell them all me say hi. Yeah. But it's easier said than done. I feel. Yeah. I, I feel like I, exactly only because I had reservations that night. I was delivering there that day, and I was like I had a mm-hmm. little bit of a rapport with them to start with. But I never would have if I didn't say that then. I wouldn't have during dinner said hey tell chef if it was a week later even right that night never i would never would have I, I've, never, I've eaten a place that i deliver to i'm never like hey tell the chef that you know the cisco driver's here yeah <laughs> never in a million years <laughs> no <laughs> yeah it's like that's, other drivers do that for sure they like they're hoping some to get something for free shame. That's more embarrassing than asking if it's market price yeah so you know how think? did you mention it to them who to you, you Next. oh yeah well i I like, said, did you talk I, to the waitress? I talked to the waitress. I said, I said um, yeah, you know, Chef John back there? She was like, yeah. I said, oh, yeah. I, I, was, here, it, yeah. I, said I was here early. He's, you know, he told me to mention it. He came out and, yeah. I like oh. it. Good move. Good move. So how yeah. was your weekend, B? Yeah, you, uh, oh, my God. You maybe had something a little interesting happen, huh? I did. I, I yeah. almost got arrested. Yeah. <laughs> so I was dumb. laughing because uh, B... Uh, well, Chick posted his pizza, and mm-hmm. I, I was like, "Oh, we're gonna hear about Chick's we're hearing about Chick's pizza. trip to Rhode Island, his pizza, this podcast, and like this is Chick's big exciting Chick podcast Portnoy topic." Over here. And then B posts on stories like, "Almost got arrested." I'm like, "He just trumped <laughs> Chick's, yeah. Chick's one big, time." I go away. Yeah, and he trumps Chick's big weekend. Well, I was getting arrested, but well, basically, like I said, I, I mentioned earlier, we're gonna try this funny, sad, scared stuff. The the ongoing podcast, the three hour, yeah. three year, three hour, three year. Uh, in the making. In the making. We decided we're going to try, and I, maybe this doesn't work. We're going to try to do like almost man on the street stuff where we go uh, after shows, after mics, and sort of ask comics ahead of time. Listen, if you got a story, funniest, saddest, the most scared you've ever been, come hang out afterward. We're going to, we're just going to mix it up and edit it and see what happens mm-hmm. with it, right? So um, common I, practice these days. For yeah, man, that's yeah. That's it's sort almost of, like you're gonna make a documentary about you know like the aristocrat joke documentary. It's like yeah. you want to do a happy uh, whatever whatever your three things are and make like a long two yeah. hour doc on. Well, and not it's not stories. it's not gonna be a, a, a long at all. It's gonna be clips. We're doing clips. It's a lot of all those man on the street clips you see. A lot of them are comics interviewing other comics, and mm. they just get clips and they make yeah. it look like it's man on the so street. So we're talking about like five minute at at a time, less than that, and. So I had talked to Neil. Neil was going to be there. I said, listen, if you got a few stories, I talked to a couple other comics. Everybody was like, all right, cool. So we went out. Uh, Squarehead Brewery, right in Ronkonkoma. I, I don't know how far that is from you. Probably 20 minutes. All right. Well, yeah. a lot of fun. The mic was great. They had like a, a guy. Oh, uh, this was. Oh, well, no, this wasn't. We did a podcast last week. What is an open mic? It's an open mic every other Friday. Yeah. Oh, okay. And it was fun. So they had like. Like a bunch of people there, like not just comics, really and, people, and like regular people, and they had like a, a grill, which is you have to understand if a, if an open mic is usually just comics. No, you're right. You're so right. like this had people, an there. audience. Yeah. yeah, there was there was an audience, and um, they had guys grilling food. It was just a, a cool vibe, and uh, we found this place. We found a perfect place that I thought was great, but then Jack, Jack Adam. You know, he's got an eye for the light or whatever the hell it is that I don't understand. And he goes, you see, there's a warehouse over there that has great lighting and it might be kind of cool. But it's fenced off and there's no trespassing. So we're like, all right, well, what do we, <laughs> we're not going in there. Mm-hmm. And we're going to bring Neil on top of that. <laughs> yeah. So Jack is like, cool, we could go, there's this part in, you have to go through like uh, the woods and 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 there's there's like no uh, there's no fence there, so we start going that way. And Neil's like, "Yeah, I'm not doing this. I'm not gonna break my leg again for this whatever this is." So we find it. Jack finds another place. We open the fence up and tear it apart. You know, is it still the three of you or the Neil? It's the three of us. Okay. Yeah, was yeah. That, wasn't there was there a woman there too? Not no. Didn't she post the picture of the three? Yeah. Of you? Well, because when we, I'll, yeah, I'll I'll, Wait, I'll get to a that. Picture of this? Yeah. Well, I mean, not really. No, just not even walking in the oh, light. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so we get in there, and it's it's basically it's just an abandoned warehouse. What? Well, not it's it's an aba- uh, a warehouse being built, and all the lights are on. There's like one of those things outside, one of those uh, like mobile home things. You know yeah, how yeah, yeah. The lights are on. Trailer. That's yeah. it. And we're like, uh, I guess we'll walk if 
somebody stops us, we'll head back, right? <laughs> do what, if, what if the police stop you? Yeah. Like, <laughs> we're not thinking of anything about the police, yeah. you know? So we do the thing. It was it was great. And, and as we're walking back, we're like, oh, it was really fun. Thanks for doing it. I'm looking. I'm like, is that a cop car? And just, that's definitely a cop car. Pulling right there. So we're like, oh, shit. So... We, we now we have to get we like lock the fence in. It's one of those fences where most of them were tied down or like the sides of the fence, but this one was like with the pole that goes into, into the, the pole. ground. So we had to take the pole out of the ground while the cop shining his light on us. <laughs> it was just so embarrassing. <laughs> and I'm trying to walk. Jack is like, wait, I can't hold the. F-. It was a nightmare. So we basically go over there and the cop. I like how it's you, Jack, and Neil. It just looks like three of the odd couple. I know. If you're a cop, I'm like, what is this? <laughs> what is going on? You know? <laughs> um, so we sh- we we get up and we're like, hey, how's it going? And the cop was pretty aggressive right away. He's like, do you see that sign? He's with the lights. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I totally do. Yeah. Power no, tripping do. tough guy cops. Gotta, he's got to come out aggressive. He's got, he goes, you have your, give me your IDs. Give me your IDs. I don't know what you guys are doing out there and uh, uh we're lighting it on fire we, yeah, we, yeah, we have yeah, a like camera shut the and like f- fuck up so like, how often they deal with this content creator stuff in places you know like, is this, probably is like more a, than yeah just long island co- oh, whatever it's but it so anyway i i an argument for me they yeah, uh he will. we had we I, I was mic'd up so i was the first one to give the cop my id you are. are you ne- still mic'd up are you being is it being recorded the mic uh-huh uh, we <laughs> I don't know yet. I Jack doesn't know because so Jack shows up with his camera and stuff, and I it's one of those lavalier mics. Yeah. So he might. I don't know when he shut it off. I know we were over there talking to the cops. So hopefully there's some footage of me nervously being. I'm sorry. Uh, here you go. Ugh. Um, yeah, because Chick is mad at me because I don't tell the cops to like screw off or something I, I, it's not that i don't get it's not that i get mad at you for not being like a. I get it you don't want to get yourself in more trouble but you don't need to just suck their ass either but anyway it's not, just, it's not as you call this yeah sucking we don't need their to be ass. a dead horse but i'm i'm, I'm also <laughs> i say to them yeah <laughs> stupid thing we weren't in there stealing copper you know it, it, yeah i'm just letting the guy know i'm trying to get him from a 10 down to like a seven yeah. all right just like all right Relax. That's what I would do too. You just yeah. kind of you have to feel the situation I would have escalated out. Escalated it, right? And that probably would not have worked for you. So, uh, <laughs> I give him the ID. Neil is fumbling around. Jack's got his camera out, <laughs> so he's yelling at them now. And that's when I had my thing on. And I, and finally, after that, we got it gone. But you know, we're sitting there. Five cop cars show up. Now. Really? Five it's co- Long Island. They don't have anything yeah. to do. Nothing to do. It's it's one cop car, like. It's Ron Konkuma on a you know a Friday and I guess there's nothing going on. <laughs> you know how much salary was in that stop for you guys? That was yeah. probably a half a million dollars. And like, what if something happens? You know, so like, you should spread out. Like, it's not like oh, they don't need this much backup for these guys. I know. And what if something happens on the other side of town? You're all over here. No, because now exactly. they all just hang out and then they get the. If a real problem, cops. if a real problem happens somewhere else, don't you got then you got to speed over there. A bunch of all of you guys, should, you guys should all be spread out. All of Ron Konkuma was on us three. Yeah. Okay. Meanwhile, a guy can climb on a building and sh- shoot at the president, and nobody notices. But, you know, God forbid you walk into an abandoned warehouse to do a podcast. There's like five cops I like because I know them, and then the rest get all fucking kick right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how this podcast will end. One day, Chick's going to get arrested and have a bad yeah. attitude. And But you we'll got the footage? They, they didn't yeah. take the footage from They here, didn't right? take the footage. So you got, you're off to a start here. Yeah, can... we're fine. And, and after we realized we were clean... He was like, he was like, he was like, all right, now, now you have to wait for the uh, the key holder of the building um, to just like, I'm not going to press charges. So that took another because it's 1030 at night. So that took like, did he know, have to come there or just by phone? call? No, no. They just had to get in touch with him. But it was late at night. Apparently, you know, there's like a silent alarm that goes off inside this, yeah. which I understand because it's a it's a construction site. That people steal stuff. Like when there was, right. we were in there. There was like construction stuff, all probably worth a lot of money. 
but like we're more into hearing your saddest story. Yeah. So we're not I grabbing love that you you're stuff. in there and talking stories, and then somewhere off site there's just an alarm blaring, and you guys are like, "What was the saddest <laughs> word?" <Yeah. Like, laughs> you have no idea, and you're just yeah. sitting there. And we're with Neil, so he's just talking to uh, her all stories is about like illegal poker <laughs> and all that stuff, yeah. you know. Um, so you know, I wonder if those alarms are silent on purpose. Like they must be. Yeah, because they don't to want catch you to the leave. person. Yeah, they probably don't want. to They want you to you. stay there because if we had heard something right away, we'd be would, gone. Yeah, yeah but, we'd yeah. be gone. But wouldn't you rather have the person go and then not take no, the thing? Cops would rather ruin somebody. Than no, well, that's not the that's not the cops' choice. That's no. the alarm system's I think, choice. I think they would rather yes. catch somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Listen, I, I think they need to make it worse than it is. It's, <laughs> I think they would rather catch somebody if if the silent alarm is there. You're going to take your time, you think you're good, and get out of there. Yeah. The cops would rather know without you knowing that you're in trouble so you're not panicking. And they can get there quick. And they so. get and there. And it's like the bank ones, too. They have the silence so they don't get shot when they ring the door. Exactly. The alarm. So that I makes to, sense. I have to, every once in a while, I have keys for some of my stops, and I have to open the door, and I have to get to the key code, and I have, I have to undo the alarm, which is pretty <sighs> funny because it's like, I can yeah. make copies of these keys, and like uh, I have the alarm codes of these places. I it's, know. It's you know, very trusting of these these places. A lot of this. places are trusting. Um, yeah, so basically, we but were it was fine. I missed I, like, I, I miss the alarm, and then the alarm's, it's like, boo, and I'm, like, I'm in a restaurant panicking to find the, the pad <laughs> to turn it off. Cops you, will show up. I'm like, I'm making a delivery. I don't know. I shut this thing off. I would have just left and just, all right, that, there it is. Let the <laughs> I, business I, owner Sometimes you're like, it. okay, I don't know how to turn it off. I'll just make the delivery. Yeah. And the alarm's blaring. I'm just dropping stuff off. <laughs> yep. Got my, got my headphones in. I'm like, I'll just wait for the cop to show up. He's going to show up. I'm like, yeah, I'm delivering it. I don't know how to shut that thing off. So. I had a place that happened. So, yeah, it was basically very uh, very quick and easy. I'm and excited to see this footage. I'm a little hurt that I, I wasn't involved with the shooting of it, but I didn't understand. Well, I mentioned to you quick last jackass. week, and you gave me like a, huh? So I, no, you said you want to do you said you want just to, shit on you. <laughs> what? Well, I'm not shit on you, but like you act like you weren't going to do it. Like, no, you seem like you weren't interested. I'm interested. I, 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 well, I, you know, Jack is a fine, you know, he does great work. Right, well, this Friday, we're going to do more, so. Um, oh, after the show? Yeah. That I'm going to be on? Am yeah. I hosting that? Yeah, yeah. All right. I should um, probably work on a set. Maybe I'll yeah. go to this show. I don't think I have anything going on. All right, good. Come hang out. I'll buy this Friday. I'm not paying. It's free. God forbid. Oh, all right, all right, God forbid. Even if it was, I refuse to pay to CB unless it's something that I think is really going to help him and to yeah. support him. I would do it. Can no, I, I know. Can I, I just... I've I've never not paid for you. To I know. Go I'm to not, my show. Not... I pay money for Chick to be there. Yeah, it's because I like his support. But and these guys say I would never pay for B. Yeah, because I'm paying for you, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Even shows I'm not on. One show. One show. A few. Um, uh, last summer, I think. What? What? Let me finish and I'll tell you. <laughs> Last summer, we go to a show. Chick's like, we're going to be there, right? 20 bucks to get in. Steep price. Not worth it. Chick walks in. The the, the girl says, 20 oh, bucks. I Don't. left. Right. He walks. I said, wait, Chick. He walks straight out the back door. I shell out 20 bucks. And then I'm like, I'm mingling, talking to people. And I'm like, where did he go? I call him up. I'm like, where are you? I just spent 20 bucks for you to be here. Yeah. I, I said, don't leave. I got you. I left, fucker. <laughs> I'm like, well, fuck me. Let now me I'm down 20 my bucks. Point of view. You couldn't go and get your 20 bucks back? No. The girl didn't know who I Much was. Much like market costs, you don't ask. She didn't know who I was. Most people around know, one, that I'm usually with B. Like, they know kind of who I am. Yeah. But anyway, we go to the show. I walked in ahead of B, and he got stuck talking to somebody. And as I was walking, some chick goes, 20 bucks. I said, no, I'm getting taken care of. She's like, no, no, it's, it's a $20 fee. I said, all right, see you later. And I just walked out and I left. I wasn't <laughs> and that. He calls me. I wasn't that far I behind. I paid it for you. I wasn't that far behind because I saw him walk in and I was like, I was like, gotcha, chick, gotcha. And and he just he did one of these. Eh. Yeah, uh, and just kept walking. Chick saw an opportunity to go home, and he took it. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, he saw an opportunity for him to go home and for me to lose money. He's like, "I'll do it." <laughs> two birds, one stone situation. It's just two favorite things in the world: me losing money and him going home and watching television. <laughs> By the way, one thing, Neil, me and Jack were talking about because uh, me and Jack were pretty like, "All right, we'll be quiet." Neil doesn't care. Neil's throwing out jokes to these guys. He at one point he played uh, the Bad Boys song <laughs> <laughs> as five cops are around us, and he goes, "Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that." <laughs> <laughs> and then that night he's like, "You, you guys get that?" And we're like, "No, we put the camera away." Yeah, you so get that. It was fun. 
I but, went to the uh, Apple store with Neil a couple weeks back, <laughs> and uh, he was making jokes with the girl that was trying to get him his phone back. And she looked like she may have been gay, you know, and this was June. It was Gay Pride Month, you know. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> I could tell a Neil joke right yeah, now with so, that. <laughs> so, no, he just said, he goes, uh, he's like, oh, happy pride. And then she's, she's like, thanks. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, a couple minutes later, she goes, yeah, no, I was, me and my husband were saying this thing. And I was like, she purposely said, oh, yeah. Like, she forced, the, like, me and my husband. She goes, uh, you know, I know I might look gay, but I actually have a husband. <laughs> Um, she say that? Yeah, she said she's <laughs> no, no. She didn't say that last part. Oh, oh. She just said me and my husband. She so had to. to she have like blue hair or something like that? Yeah, One of yeah. These. Short blue yeah. hair, and you know, tits. <laughs> The way you no, it's like dressed, you know, dressed like, you know. <laughs> you know, uh, the, the way you motion that. You know, the lesbians with their tits. You know, yeah. lesbians with their tits. I'll tell you what. They all have them. Yeah, well, not all. <laughs> they I, went had the gay, I went to the gay pride parade. We didn't, uh, we never got to talk yeah, about Yeah, what, 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 how yeah. was that? It was fun. I mean, yeah, we did, it was a couple weeks ago. I don't really remember, but. Oh. <laughs> I went to Farmingdale's last year. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. I still have a, a rainbow flag in my apartment hanging out. People probably question it. They're like, huh. Uh, but true. it's there, yeah. you know. Support. I, I was. Uh, I'm a supporter. I was next to a guy who was like very new to progressive uh, thought. Like yeah, at one part over, I'm saying to the guy who's with you, he goes, "You know, I, you know, why I decided to come in today was, you know, it was for you and to support you." He's you saying know. this to you? No, to the guy. <laughs> to the guy he came with, like it was like a, a gay guy that you know, uh, was, was, his friend was gay, and he was like, "You know, I came here just, you know, I was inspired. I wanted to come here for you and to support you and." You know, I just wanted to let you know that you know we, I, we have you back and anything you need. I'm like, this is not the day for this. I'm like, no. this is a this is a celebration of n them not having to think about the fact that there's a lot of what? people that hate them. That's a good thing, though. That it is a good thing. But at one point, he's like, you know, because if anybody ever said a thing, I'd punch him right in the face. <laughs> he says, I'm like, I'm like, All right. this he's is like, show how manly yeah. he is. This guy is day one. You yeah, know, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, my my friend he's, is gay. He's never once considered supporting a gay person in his life, but his friend came out as gay, and now he's like trying to do everything. <laughs> But I respect that he's doing that. Like, yeah. you understand who, like, that, what you said, like, you know who that guy is. Yeah. But also good on him for, like, like doing his best. To, yeah. like, and going. Yeah. I mean, going. Yeah, and that's good. Like, it's it's all go. good things, but it's like, I'm just going to do it. I'm like, not today. I'm like, yeah. just like, let, let him have the celebration of it's just yeah. all joy and everybody's fun. Don't remind him that people hate him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, just because of who also, he is. Also, his friend and his whole family probably hates him, you know? Yeah. But, man. Yeah. <laughs> Oh God, yeah, it was fun though, dude. I, uh, a pride. I went. They, there was one in Farmingdale, you know, on Main Street last year. I went. It was. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, I enjoy yeah, a like little a parade time. though. Yeah, it was I a love annoying. a parade. Uh, so I, hate I got a parade. Honestly, I, I got a great spot. I don't really love a parade either. Like to me, the Halloween parade in the city is pretty cool because it's, it's at night. Like you don't get a lot of night parades, and they got like a wild shit. It's, like, it's and a you want to see the it's costumes. A, it's a wild Everything scene. Else is like, mm. Yeah, and then the gay pride parade is like fun. It was actually kind of corporatized. I, it's almost X-rated huh. too. The gay pride. It parade. used to be. I went about I don't know ten years ago, more than that, and it was like it was nuts. I almost feel like I get you want to do your thing, but you don't also have to be like out there with your fucking. It's cops not and really. It's not out. really like that anymore. Which I was actually disappointed. I was I kind of wanted to. You see wanted that. to see the balls yeah. and. The but it's like it's too much. It was like medical. It was like banks coming by and like Northwell Health. Everybody yeah. Coca Cola. Yeah. They were a part of the gay pride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and I saw. It's I saw marketing. Kathy Hochul. I saw er, uh, Eric Adams. I saw like um, Schumer. I've never seen these people, so it was pretty fun. Like, hey, like I don't like any of those people, <laughs> but I was yeah. like, oh my god, that's like you're seeing, now, they you're seeing a celebrity trying to keep. Uh... Yeah, but it's like it just didn't seem like it had the vibe that you want from a gay pride. No, like, this is not. You want yeah. independent people to be like, come out. I don't want to see a coke float go by and be like, <laughs> you know what I mean? yep. uh, it's not. It's not what I'm here for. There was like a lot of a lot of breaks in between the floats a lot of downtime i'm like the gays are supposed to know about entertainment and it's like keep the show going you don't you don't let a break go mm. like there'll be times like we're waiting like i'm bored and like waiting for another float to come by <laughs> or just like a, you know, a dance crew or something and then uh, you would think that they would get that right yeah it's like yeah. keep the ball rolling don't let but the problem is we were on first we went up we showed up on christopher street which is in front of uh stonewall which is like the main spot Way, way. Yeah, that's like. So we were camped out. Harold right? Square we for out. the Thanksgiving. Exactly. Day, right? Like Macy's. For, Macy's. Macy's yeah. for Thanksgiving. Yeah. So we were camped out there waiting because I wanted to be there. So we got there like three hours early and I'm, I'm like leaning on the thing. But then Monique went and used the bathroom at Starbucks and she, like they started closing off roads so she couldn't get back to where we were. So I had to leave and like find her. 
Fucking so, like, Monique. Yeah, she fucked everything up. <laughs> her and a tiny little bladder. <laughs> and she had like she she went and got me she got two drinks, she got his egg sandwiches, and she's walking back. Uh-huh. Like she's got two drinks, she's got egg sandwiches, she can't go back. It was like an hour. She's like trying to circle, uh-huh. trying to figure out how to get back to That's where we awful. were. Very uninclusive. So <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like, why are you closing off the side? You close off side roads, and, like, and the cops also were dicks. Like, weren't no help. Of weren't t- weren't showing it. Weren't all no those help. Cops hate all those people, so they're, they just and don't you, want to. You're all watching there. them. Watching like how many of these people hate being oh, yeah. here. Yeah, you know, there was definitely some gay like oh cops that were like had like gay flair on. They were yeah. like supportive, and then the other ones hate them all. Yeah, so it was a little annoying. Like they wouldn't just tell her, oh come down here, or like if yeah, my boyfriend's over there, like can can you help me? Like I'm not. The parade yeah. hadn't started yet. Can you just let me through here? Like, can I, you I watch have, me go? I'm, ho- right I'm there. holding two drinks and two. Sh- can I get like you know you just closed, like you just yeah. closed this road off. You fucked me. Like, can I just get back to where I was? No help at all. So no, I, but if it was I, I their lost family member. Uh, oh, of course, yeah. Fucking scumbags. So I, I lo- <laughs> we lost the spot. We had to walk around, and then we're on like we're just after Christopher Street. So I think the the hold up is because a lot of floats stop in front of where we were. Yeah. And like they do like a show. So I think we we the reason why we had to wait a lot is because they were all. F- in front of the spot that we oh, yeah, would have yeah, been yeah, yeah. had we uh, stayed there. But then when I finally met up back up with Monique, she just had the egg sandwich that was like stuffed in her bag. And she goes, yeah, the drink didn't make it. <laughs> she, she was like frustrated, just threw the drink in the garbage. She's like, oh. I'm not carrying this thing around over. Like, yeah, fair enough. I, yeah, I'm, like, I'm surprised. Sense. I would have been like immediately in the garbage if I, you know, won. <laughs> but yeah, it was fun. Yeah. yeah. But it yeah, it's, like it's, I, I, it's same thing. Cor- I, Manhattan's corporate, though. Yeah, it's all corporate. Yeah, it's it a little disappointed. I, I wanted the you know the swinging dicks and the you know the titties out. And <laughs> you want to see the show? Yeah, which is funny. So last time I saw it, I my opinion of it was like they want equal rights and they want all this and stuff. I'm like, be... I'm like I'm like they're not doing themselves any favors. Mm. Like I don't care because like I, you know I'm a liberal person, but like they're showing off everything that the, that the like the conservatives are hate about, are hate about them. Mm. Like by being super sexual, and it's like they're just defining themselves by like like all this. You know, hedonistic shit. Yeah, which I liked, but I'm like, you're not doing yourself any favors by winning that side. That's my whole. But point. they've definitely like now that they've got the equal rights, they kind of are more like, yeah, we're just like we're just fun loving gay yeah. people. Like I didn't, yeah. there wasn't a lot of, you know, I saw a couple of things that were like that's <laughs> yeah yeah wow, but not nearly as much as not as much be. as you yeah. would think, which All is right. probably good for equal rights, you know, to get people. I yeah, know. I just yeah. want more of a show. I want you wanted you I wanted the you. old school gay I parade. Did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. Well, my weekend, yeah, yeah. Is, uh, I went to Rhode Island for my nephew had a soccer tournament. Four games, two days. Um, my sister-in-law couldn't make it because my other nephew had some stuff to do. So my brother asked me if I wanted to join. And, of course, I usually I don't like missing my, my nephew's games anyway. So uh, we decided to make a little... You know, he's they him and my brother apparently watch all the Barstool pizza reviews. Gonna do a pizza one, one bite, tour, yeah. The one, one bite, yeah, the one bite reviews. So my nephew's been wanting to try Frank Pepe's and Sally's in New Haven. Do you remember what he gave those? Yeah, because we watched we we watched one of them yeah. on the way there. So he gave Frank Pepe's an eight four. Really? Yeah, and he gave Sally's a nine. Two, wow. I believe Sounds like the highest rating reason. he's ever given. It was it was one of the highest ratings he's ever given a a, a slice? Apparently, hmm. so we were you, like, you can't get pizzas by the slice there, right? You got to order a pie. No, you have to order pies. Yeah. Well, if you could, I didn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> we, we ordered yeah. online, so we figured like we tried to time it where like when we were about an hour, hour and a half out of New Haven, we were like, well, place the order because we knew you had to order in advance. So we get to Sally's first, the higher rating. We wanted to make sure we hit that one up. And, dude, it was like a two and a half hour. It was like a ridiculous wait. So we were already too close. We're like, let's pray for Pepe's or else we're going to miss out on this completely. Mm. So Pepe's, we were lucky enough. It was perfect. Like, literally, as we got in there, that was the time we were supposed to pick up our pie. Great. And we drove past Sally's because they're on the same block. Literally, like, two. You could probably throw a football to, you know, from yeah. one to the other. So a uh, huge line outside of Sally's. So we were like, oh, shit, that place is, like, really busy. So what they have is they have a storefront, and then they have, like, a little thing next to it, I guess, where it's just where you pick up your pies. So uh, If you're taking it to go. So you can yeah. eat, you can eat inside the, the one spot. You can eat inside it, yeah, in one spot, and then one's, like, your pickup spot. And which we also didn't, my brother told me that they both had to shut down their operations after they had their reviews. 
because they had to like redo their business plan because they got so busy wow. after it. Oh wow! After the so, bar, after the after the bar store, port, Portnoy the, after runs. The port, so. I heard he does that to every every place he goes to. If he gives it a decent review, the place jumps. Like I was yeah. in Greenport one day when he was there, like doing. A, there's, a, there's a spot in Greenport that has good pizza, uh-huh. and he did a review out there, and it was like. It was the talk of the town that he was. Yeah. Well, that's what. Like, yeah, yeah. So apparently, it really like. I guess it also people who follow it try to hit his these spots too. That's what it is. You get an influx of people that don't normally go the, to this. Exactly. Unless he gets a bad because re- he does give bad reviews. Well, yeah, the yeah. bad ones are probably. I bet you that kills them. Like people. Yeah. Some. Yeah. Well, I don't know. That's probably. Also, it's, I still think I you would get a jump. People like just to try it. And yeah. See if like, yeah. Let's see what. Yeah. Well, there was one that I was watching where he he came out and he was fighting with the guy the whole time. And then he's like, you know what? I, I saw that. <laughs> yeah. I think he gave him a zero because the guy was being a dick. I saw that, yeah. <laughs> was that a Goodfellas pizza? I don't remember. My brother told me about it, and I watched it because I, I was getting a kick out of the story. Because I went to I went to a uh, Goodfellas pizza in Chattanooga, and the place is amazing. And it was a, one of those places where he had a like a problem with the owner, and he threw the pizza away. <laughs> was, but the place is great. Like these places was, don't realize how good he's going to help you. So yeah. I don't understand why you would fight with him and make your place look bad. And I I'm not a huge Portnoy fan. Like I, I don't yeah, really I don't like really the care guy. For him yeah, I'm not a big fan, but I also realized the power. It's fun. Know. The thing he's doing is fun. It's though. cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I actually love it. So either way, there's a couple of them. There's one in Connecticut. There's like a couple other spots in Connecticut where they had these. So Frank Pepe's, we were able to hit in the way there. Now, I will say, Pepe's looked like when we opened it up, you saw the pictures. We could post them, too. I thought it looked better. Me, like, too. When I don't, like you, Yeah, from the mm. two pictures. Yeah, you know, it, too burnt. I like a well-done pizza. I Frank Pepe's looked perfectly well done. Yeah. Sally's looked too well done, but... I'd be really willing to try it. Like uh, Sally's was significantly better. Yeah. Like and what is it? I they call think... it hot oil pizza. Uh, yeah, it's the hot yeah. oil. Yeah, it, what, dude, I don't understand what that means. Like, neither, like, I don't honestly. I don't. They understand have that in, any of like it. where it's I all Connecticut. In Connecticut. Yeah. It's yeah. Hot all... oil pizza. I don't know. Like in the cooking process, where does the hot oil come? No, in? I think it goes on top. They just put the hot oil on and top. Always, yeah, it might just. I think it might be a drizzle. You think on top. I think it's a hot it? oil on top, and they put like a little pepper in the middle. This is, I've got well, this one. There's a couple different types you can get. We just got the regular mozzarella yeah. and uh, like the mozzarella and sauce. Sorry, <laughs> I think I heard your, little, your throat yeah. and your stomach at the same time. <laughs> we heard that Sally's come up. Yeah. For a <laughs> so we got it, and like you know, we the whole thing. We want to make it fun for my nephew. We, we took pictures. We gave him the top of the boxes. He's gonna. I told him, like, now you got to start going to all these spots and keeping the boxes with the rating yeah. on it. So my nephew gave it a, a nine. I think he changed his rating on it like seventeen times. He started <laughs> with an eight eight. By the time we got home, Frank Pepe's was a nine. Yeah. Um. So Pepe's was really good. The way home, we like. All right, let's. We're gonna get Sally's. Sally's was fucking awesome. It was just so good. Now, I went in there because I had to use the bathroom. So I'm asking the guy who works there. I'm like, so what's like, I said, and I said, I'm not trying to be like, I said, I like you guys better than Pepe's. What's the difference? And he, he goes, it's just the sauce. He's like, the only thing we do different. It's always in that. the sauce. That's what he said. He goes, the only difference That's between what pizza us guy and them is it. the sauce. Yeah. And I, it, was, it was so much. It was awesome. Could yeah. you explain a difference in taste? From I know that's hard to do from the two of them. Yeah, and, and really, it probably was just There's the, the sauce. sauce. And you know, it's also how burnt it is or whatever. Yeah. They were both cooked pretty similar just as far perfect, as that. Perfect. It was just. I'm so, not. They don't a... flop. They, but they also cut, which I found they're out. Don't flop because it took well done. So the bottom is crispy. The it, bottom's yeah, crispy. Yeah. Like the bottom, yeah, no. It's like you don't pick up a slice and it flops down. Yeah. I've noticed with the Connecticut pizza that I had, the bottom is almost chewy. Have you? Did you notice that with yours? I don't. I don't know what you're saying. Um, <laughs> because I, I, it was gummy, well like kind of like gummy, like gummy. But oh, in a you know, you talk about like microwave pizza sometimes, where it's like chewier yeah. because it's microwaved. But like, I, I, it sounds bad, but it it was. It's like I my jaw hurt after eating it. Oh, you felt like you had to put more chews in it. I'm like, oh yeah, but it was delicious. I didn't get that. No, I crushed it. Huh. But so I you, will. You call you. Uh, like you called like further in advance on the way back. You left so, like yeah. two hours. So we knew where we were, like we knew that it was going to take longer to get it. Now on a Sunday night, we left literally after we left probably six o'clock. Uh, connect, uh, the Rhode Island, and we would have been there by I think it was like two hours away from where we were. So we called it like six, and it was perfect timing. Mm, nice. Like we almost were nervous that we were going to like whatever, but. They both have the parking lots, but a, yeah, so apparently they both had to shut down and, you know, redo their shit. Pepe's was good. Pepe's is cooler. So, like, I like the signage and the restaurant of Pepe's better, 
but the pizza was better at Sally's. Who does the clam pizza? Who's like? I think they both do it. I don't know who. I think Sally's is known as the better one. The I, clam slice. I think so. I, I could be wrong though. But that, so that's that, where it started, right? Like that, that they're fame. There was famous so, for the yeah. clam so. pizza. So like we didn't know what like, should we get a specialty pie? I was like, let's just get the normal. Try to right, yeah, yeah, try just try the regular one. Yeah. Exactly. But so apparently they do also a slint, like where they cut it into less slices. Well, more slices. Yeah, I like think 16th it's like sixteenth yeah. instead oh, of eighth. Okay. I kind of like that. I like, dude. I could have crushed a whole pie. Like I can't eat a whole pie. Yeah. A regular, like whatever. I could have ate that whole pie. Mm. It's just easier to eat a thin slice. You can just go it right is. down the barrel. Oh yeah, it's like two, three bites and it's fucking yeah. done. Um, I've never been to either one of those. But the thing about Frank Pepe is, I feel like they're going a little corporate. Like there's one in Mohegan Sun. Mm. Well, they're building. Sally's. I didn't see any other Sally's. Sally's. I Sally's, think, it's I one think of is one. only one. Frank Pepe's is, does that. Frank a few Pepe's. Others. Yeah, you're gonna quality, see it in JFK always, in a few years. Quality always drops when you start. But one of the other stuff. Frank Pepe's got a higher rating from Barstool than this one did. Really? Which where was that? I think there was another one in Stanford. I think mm. that might yes. have gotten the higher rating. I, I didn't think that was. That's the one I pass all the time. Now. I, th I don't quote me on which one got the higher rating, but I think I it was think the I might have gotten there years ago. Did it get a lot busier after the one yeah, bite review? Dude, it was all, I think it was always very popular, but it did. It went crazy after I, I, his exactly, review, right? I think it was so already. I, think, I have a buddy who lives in. It was, yeah, it already made the casino, so they they were already very. I have popular. a buddy who lives in Connecticut, and I, I'm pretty sure before he dropped me off at the ferry, we stopped off and got some pizza, and I think that's where we went. But and I remember it being good. But I'm not a, I'm not good at distinguishing good and bad pizza. I almost yeah. feel like maybe it would be a waste on me because mm -hmm. I feel like I just like whatever pizza. Like I'm not like uh, I'm not I, picky. I hear you. I'm not I picky was. On my pizza. I, I kind of agree I, with you. On, I'm interested to see it just if I can if I can tell the difference. Like everybody loves this pizza. Am I going to be like, yeah, this is pizza? Right. So or I am I going to be like, oh yeah, now I see the difference. Crust here, like you can't really compare that slice to a regular pizza slice. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a different. It's, it's, it's a like going to Chicago and comparing that to exactly. Yeah. Pizza. But you could compare this one to like Undici's, and now there's a lot of places out here that do have the thin crust, and I'm telling you, it's shit on all of them. At least yeah. the ones I'm I've sure. Tried out Listen, here. those guys are ahead of the game. It was it was just dynamite. Was I am the same way though, Ryan. Like if you tell you, this is the best pizza, regular like a Long yeah. Island slice, right? Yeah. Not talking thing. I'd be like, yeah, they're both good. I, right. It would be so slight. I feel like. Yeah. Would be worth it. That I yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't. I'm, have I am, those. I'm interested to try it, and I do like a. If I go to a place, I'm like, I like it well done. And so you don't that's, have to that's, ask that's for always well going to make it that's better. What it is. Yeah. But if it's not well done, I still like it. It's I just, do. I prefer. I, I, pizza, I just. But like I do want to try that. that that's so, yeah. those pictures looked amazing. That's why I had to. So we had my nephew wanted to take a picture of me and my brother. We took pictures outside of the ah. places. We took pictures of him with the slices. He probably had a great time. Oh, that's he, awesome. So one, my nephew, he's like one of the few people who really like likes hanging out with me. <laughs> we love hanging out with no, you. No, I know. But like so we had a great time. So we go to this In weekend. Small doses. He's bust my balls constantly about the smoking. So I really try not to smoke around him. Very like a lot less than I normally do, but he hates it. Try not to. It's it would be impossible not to, but you try well, not to. Well, I try not, yeah, you know, it's a, to. so <laughs> we did find one parent. So now we're away and it's his team and uh some of the kids were at a different hotel, but this was two buddies were at this hotel. Um, and I was one of the dads. He's like, I was going, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go out here, go smoke a cigarette. He's like, you smoke or whatever. And I'm like, yeah. He's oh, like, yeah. all right, uh, and we're going to put the kids to bed. I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys I, could see what you you'd like. Oh, that guy looks like he. Uh, so right away, like I was in with all the parents love me. This guy where we smoked one night. So we were at like a Bates motel, basically. It was like literally like off the highway. It says like no vacancies. Half the lights were off, <laughs> and it was like this little. It the whole, did the, the whole, job. The whole team was there. Uh, a few kids, not the like, whole... everybody made their own arrangements though. Well, no, because so my brother. This is a travel team. They're not all from Farmingdale, so most of the kids are from Floral Park. All of those kids stayed in a different hotel because they, I guess, they all booked together. Yeah. Me, uh, my my brother, my nephew, and then these other two or three other kids who. I guess aren't in like the kind of the outsiders on the team, but they all get along with, you know, it's right. just they're from a different town. Yeah. So we got our own hotel. Um, and it was five minutes from the place, which was cool, but it was literally, it's probably smaller than this room, the hotel. And I'm not even joking. It was two beds, your TV hotel room. And then, yeah. And then the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So my nephew makes fun of me for snoring. He makes fun of me for, you know, the smoking, but you wear the mask. I didn't bring the mask because yeah. I don't want to travel with my CPAP. It's yeah. just I, well, I get a good night's sleep. But my brother said I wasn't. My my nephew just likes to bust right. my balls. That's what he does. Everybody like, does. Yeah, it's, you know that's how we do it. 
But um, we we hit up the game room one night. Uh, but he had his soccer tournament. He played fucking awesome. I got to smoke with his dad. We had one little spat on the sidelines with another parent. Of course. It happens. Would be kid sports mm-hmm. if it wasn't a spat. Yeah. So I'll tell you what happened this time. So my nephew, the refs this whole weekend were bad in that they just didn't call much. Now in soccer... They if, let them if, play? They let them play... <laughs> <laughs> but in soccer, when kids start fouling each other, like when they slide tackling and taking kids out and it's not being called as fouls, kids get annoyed and then they retaliate. So it made for a more physical game. It, it escalates. escalates yeah. mm. And then parents start chirping. So like you really, as a ref, that's like <laughs> your one job as a soccer ref is just to control the game. Right. So the end of the first game, we had one of our kids threw another kid on the ground. Because they just he got a yellow card. We thought, thank God he didn't get kicked out. But so that was the first game. The other, you know, no fights there. But by the last game, it was just getting frustrating. So my nephew got like taken down three times, and whatever they didn't call it. But now I could see he was starting to get. Now he's starting to play more aggressive. So he slid tackled this other kid, and I was like, "Yeah, Robbie, like way to you know way to get him back." <laughs> Basically, I said it. And the parent from the other side is like, oh, that's what you teach your kids? And I was like, yeah. I said, I want him out there to defend himself. Like, take it, you know, if someone does something to him and the refs aren't handling it, yeah, you handle it on your own. And it was just, it was, there was nothing more than that. It was a And then you little. go, and by the way, I don't even have kids here. Well, that, yeah. And that's the other <laughs> thing, like, too. What? As I said, I was like, yeah, that's how I raise my kid. I don't fucking raise anybody's kids. It's my nephew. <laughs> but the fact that she said it, you know, and then she was like, oh, I'll call that. You know, don't fucking yell at my nephew, but yeah. whatever. Quick little one, two. And then, like, that was it. But mm. that's kind of how it ended. But they played great. My nephew played great. Good. Me and my brother had All right. a great well, I'm time. I'm glad he played great. He's got to learn to control his emotions, it sounds like. But it, <laughs> he, uh, it's, I'm glad he had a good time. <laughs> he actually controlled them very well. I was happy. I was proud of him. I don't know about that slide. Time. But now all the parents were asking me, you coming to the next tournament? And I'm like, eh, you know, now I almost want to because like, I feel like, you know, it's like they turn into like little families and it's like you want to I know. Go. You're a good time in this group. Yeah. Like, what happened I was to your told, lip, by the way? I actually had a pimple there. Oh. What, you picked it? No, I popped it. Yeah. Don't look good. I have a, a pick for this week. You do? Uh, yeah. Ooh. Podcast episode. To... I have a pick, too. Yeah? Yeah. Right. You go first. Best best podcast moment I've ever... I've been listening to podcasts for since podcasts existed. Right. The best podcast moment I've ever seen in my life was on... Uh, you know Rick Glassman? You familiar yeah, with yeah. Rick Glassman? He sounds so familiar, but I can't put the face He's like a little odd, right? Yeah. He's a... Yeah. You know, he's a... Uh, is so it Take Your stuff. Shoes Off or take something? Take Your Shoes Off podcast. Yeah. So I best weekend of comedy I ever had in my life was with Rick Glassman. He, he worked Governors. I have like a special place in my heart for him. Mm-hmm. He worked Governors. He was headlining. I was hosting. Um, I had to pick him up from the hotel. Uh, you know, I was excited to meet him. I didn't know, really know him before. I got booked, but I looked him up, and I, I watched some of his clips, and I was like, I love this guy. This guy does weird stuff. He does stuff I wish I had the balls to do. Right. I was super excited for him. I picked him up. Um, we had a great conversation on the way. Super cool guy. Um, he headlined. I watched, I was like, I was excited. I went to the showroom. I was going to watch him headline. He, he kind of bombed. He tanked the oh, whole night. Oh, no. He spent like the whole night kind of trying to like talking to one person and trying to get them like to, to break. And he just kind of wasted the whole set. Yeah. And then the ride back to the hotel, he was like, oh, you know, I fucked the whole night up. I was too worried about her. I didn't just do what I wanted to do. He was like really hard on himself. We get back for the Saturday night show. I, I picked them up again. I drove them there. They had bumped them down to a feature. Like they said, you're oh. not going to headline. So then they got a local act come in and headline, close the night, because he really he, you know, really struggled the first Who's night. Who's the local act, do you want to say? Uh, I think know? it was Chris Roach ended up coming okay. in and headlining. Um, but then he did, so he did 20 minutes feature act for two shows Saturday night and crushed. Yeah. Absolutely destroyed for 20 minutes. And I was like, I felt so, like, I felt like Good vindicated, like he vindicated him, himself. Yeah. We had like a real, like in the green room, we had like a real love fest. I told him how I wish I had the balls to do what he does. And he's like, oh, I wish I could do what you do. Just like tell stories. He's like, I wish I had something like that ice cream story you do. I wish I had something like that. Whether or not he was just feeding me yeah. my ego back. But he was like, it was whether or not nice. he, he meant it or not, it was nice yeah. for him to say it back to me. Super nice trade exchange information. He told me if you're in LA, text me. I'll come. I never did. I was like, I don't have the balls. I'm, you know, the same as you. Same thing. <laughs> but just, I just, I've always had, since that moment, I just, I was like, I love this guy for my life. I will always yeah. love Rick Glassman. He's got like some shows. You got on like some sitcoms. Just always love him. He had Sal Volcano on. We also have like a special place in my heart. I just love his podcast. I think he's like a really fun guy. He seems like everybody that knows him absolutely loves him. Do you like mm-hmm. their show? 
I don't really watch this oh, show okay. to be honest, but um, I, I what what I've seen seems fun. Seem, they seem like yeah. fun guys. But then his comedy special, Terrified, that came out, I I, I absolutely loved it. That's him, yeah. Okay. Sal Volcano. Sal Volcano, yeah. Have you seen it? Terrified on YouTube? No, I just heard you criticize my vans that he was wearing during that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, he was wearing the vans I don't like. But a, a role, he really just a kind of set of comedy that I love. He just talked about fun things. He told funny stories. He was just all about making you laugh. Yes. He didn't have a hot take on anything. He didn't have any topical stuff that he thought he wanted to make sure he got his opinion out. It was mm-hmm. just it's just a funny hour of stories and he was being goofy. And I was like, I fucking love this half this hour. I love this act. He's just a you know so he had him on the podcast and it was just and then they both talked about their admiration for um Harry Mack, who's that freestyle rapper that I've showed oh, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy's great. Yeah. So I'm a fan of Harry Mack. Yeah, yeah. So they were talking about him and like and how much they love him. And then Rick Glassman was like, Hey, I'll, i he's had him made a song for Sal, like specifically, and like they were just talking about this thing, and then just the end of it, like the the cap of it, like there was like a reveal at some point in this podcast, and it was like the best. It was so it was three guys I absolutely love. I love Harry Mack. I watch his videos. I cry during his videos. I love Harry Mack because I think that when I watch his videos, you get to watch people. Who are like actions? Yeah, but you see these people who are home on their computer. Like, there's not much going on. They're just like searching through this Omega app. They're like, "Hey, what's going on?" I'm like, "Hey, I'm I'm Harry Mack. Like, I do free sauce. Can I do a free sauce? Like, yeah, whatever. It's cool." And then he blows. And then you get to watch their facial expressions change from like, "Holy shit!" to like, "I'm having a boring night at home, just on a computer, wasting time." To I just witnessed a truly incredible human being doing a truly yeah, incredible a thing show. and you like you watch their face like, you just like watch their light up and by the end of it they're going holy shit yeah. that yeah. was fucking nuts yeah. people like, lose and, their and, minds and eight minutes before they were like hey man what's going on and yeah. you, you watch the process it's yeah. such a beautiful fucking thing yeah. to watch I'm a big yeah. fan of his. to watch like people get remind people. Get, I like the people who know him too. When they when, even they, when he that's, comes that's across, that's even fun too. Like, they're like, like oh, holy they shit, it's Harry Mack. Yeah, they want to have fun with it. So I just I truly like have have a. So was he on it? Well, just watch, you watch the okay. episode. Like I don't want, like I don't want to give anything away, but it's like all right. Just I want to. Yeah, I'll listen to that. You for watch sure. the. It's you know it's a long podcast. The beginning of it is just them talking, and it's maybe not brilliant, but it's I, I highly recommend right. watching. Is that a good podcast? I listened to it once, and I was like, I don't know what. Depends on who's on it. I don't listen to it. As much as I love Rick Glassman, I, I was super stoked when he started a podcast. I pick and choose depending on who's on it. He has certain people I like a lot on it, and they're good together. Okay. But I don't, I don't watch every one of them. Because I, I saw it, it. It got some review. Like, it was pretty popular. Like, I heard it's about it. It's got some good numbers. It does good numbers, yeah. And then, like, I listened to it, and I didn't know. I didn't. I had no history with this Rick Glassman guy, yeah. so I didn't know who he was. And then I'm, I'm listening to him. I'm like, what is, is this like a weird act? I didn't know what I was yeah. listening to. It's and I'm bizarre, like, yeah, yeah. I think sometimes um, it is. Sometimes good. it's not. So it becomes hard to decipher okay. what, when he's being, when they're doing an improv thing and when they're just having a genuine conversation. Uh, so, I, I just, can we all just have regular, I, I understand. I, that's why I don't listen to it all the time. I Cause I be tricked into thinking <laughs> I'm in a bit. <laughs> I think the same thing, you know, I know. But I just. Uh, but I'm gonna pay. I'll, I'll, I'll give me some to listen to because I. I, yeah. I, am I actually in I watch the YouTube. I would suggest watching the YouTube version because actually Rick's podcast he does a lot of fun things on the YouTube, like a lot of visual as- oh, okay. aspects of it. So I would recommend watching on YouTube. But I'm sure the audio is is fun to listen to. All too. right. All so right. I finally went to go see that Long Legs. I don't, actually, you know what? I don't know if I mentioned it on the podcast. Yeah, you did. You is, did. It, is it a movie? I mentioned it to a lot he of didn't people. Mention, he so didn't. I don't know if it. I mentioned. I know, it on I, the pod. but I've heard of. I've heard of this. So but. long legs was like this. He horror. asked me on the way here. Did I mention this? I said no. Said, an hour later. Yeah. I don't know if I mentioned this. <laughs> so I went to. I bought tickets. Well, me and my buddies, we got tickets well in advance for this movie that this horror that we've been looking forward to for very excited weeks now. They did a crazy marketing on this. They had like a phone number that you could call and you got like long He made legs, me listen to that. Long legs picks up and like <laughs> does this part that he does in the movie, but it cool. was just cool. But, was, but you know what? For people who like yeah, it, if you like cars, I'm not into it. It's like a yeah, cool sure. marketing ploy. Sure. They had an IG page. They I just said like one the, one day he picked me up. He goes, You're gonna love this. And he called this number. And it was like he goes, That's long legs. <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? Yeah. It made no sense. All right. 
They also came up with like an IG page for it, heavily promoting it, where they were showing like on billboards that they had like the letters from the movie. It was just like they did, it was like a cool marketing thing for mm-hmm. it. All this part you told on the podcast, but get well, to that's the what movie. I was, oh, a full fool. So uh, it was. I went to go see it. Me and a handful of my friends. Um, movie was absolutely excellent. Nick Cage was fantastic in it. The guy's back. I heard Nick Cage wasn't great though. But he's he talking disagrees. about one guy who said he didn't like it. Was the only person I've seen. But he's also the guy who just does it to be different. Like that's it. He just, well, Nick Cage is stringing together a little couple. Like that's his what last said. he's on movies. a roll right now. Yeah, he's, yeah, he was yeah. on a roll. He's like heavily prosthetics, and he's like completely. Just, while he was doing any movie that would come across, he'd do a shit movie. Well, he was but in then, a lot of then debt he did that movie apparently, and that's why he did all those. And now he's finally getting back to Nick Cage. Yeah, but. Classic Nick Cage. It's a, it's a I like to Bricker man. To Nick me, Cage. the movie was like a cross between like Seven meets like The Conjuring and Silence of the Lambs. It's huh. like a it's like a okay detective suspenseful, but there's a little bit of a spiritual twist at it. There's actually a few horror movies that I'm interested in. This sounds like I'm, I'm I interested am interested in, in this. I'm as interested in this. I'm interested in um in a violent nature. That one I can't wait. The the first person one. Yeah, I can't I'm, wait. To I'm all interested in Maxine, but I want to watch the ones that came before Maxine. Uh, Pearl was good. I like. I think it was X Triple X, X whatever. Just X. The first one was that was the better one of yeah. the two. I don't know if you like. It's, it's like a typical. Are these yeah, like interested. scary? Scary? I don't really know, but I like those likes, ones are like sla- those are pretty gory slashers. I don't need slashers. And I heard I, in a violent nature is pretty. I haven't gruesome. seen that yet. I want to see that. There's a lot of like a lot of slow. It's pretty slow. Um, but there's slow burn. The, when it when it when, when it, it gets, hits, it goes. It, yeah, it hits. Long I, legs is I, I like long legs. I, well, I, I I haven't seen it, but I I think it seems like more of a story. Am I wrong? Much more of a story. Um, I wouldn't. A couple jump scares. Not. It wasn't to me. It wasn't really a horror. It was some gross parts, but it still wasn't even. Like I feel like people who don't necessarily love horrors might be able to get into that. Personally, I don't like personally. I don't like when I go home and I think it could happen to me. <laughs> well, this you know? could definitely. Nah, no, that couldn't. No, happen. I couldn't get murdered by a serial. But it was like killer. the Amityville horror. It's got like that know. supernatural suspense to it, but it's got like the detective part of like Seven and fucking huh. yeah. Silence of the Lambs. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Right. Now, highly recommend. One it. other thing. I want to see your take on this because I I had me and Chick had this d- very discussion earlier in the car. I looked up the 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 picture, the main picture of of this when you Google it, wow. and it was a, it was a a guy walking in snow. I have a weird time watching a movie that takes place in the winter, mm-hmm. in the summer. What do you feel about? Oh, that? Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. I'd rather watch it's not it a in winter October. movie like that, though. No, but 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 the 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 main picture. What do you call it? The cover. The cover photo. Yeah. Is a guy a walking poster? in snow. I get it, but the movie's not a winter movie. I don't know how many times right, I can tell then, you that. But then, but then, why make it that? But they poster? don't because they, there's one. It, the opening scene is it's right, like but, so it takes place in the winter. I watch movies. If it's coming out in the summer, I would make that poster. I would I would not include the winter in the. It's in just the it's just weird visuals to me. of it. I don't. Completely disagree with that because I am kind of a seasonal. No, is that because person. I said it? No, <laughs> because he's Cause no, you, because you were saying the same thing. But I told him the same <laughs> thing. I told you I agree with you that like I'm a seasonal. No, you scolded me for not knowing what movies uh, are about. <laughs> and you're you're right. I'm not great with movies, but I started watching Stranger Things and I waited for season three or whatever it is yeah. when they're in the summertime. To watch it in the summertime. Yeah, yeah. Game of Thrones, the whole thing was winter is Can't coming. Can't watch that in the, the winter. The whole movie was, the whole show, every time, it was always in the summer. No, summer not every show. year. Not yeah, every yeah, because every they year said was winter's a... coming. They didn't say winter's here. But they had winter's, winter's coming, there was still winter was there. Jon Snow was with the person in the winter, I, in, in the snow. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that was a, that's not a summer, but it was a summer show. When TV shows are different, because you're watching a long show, there's going to be times so. where the... It's seasonal. This, it's, yeah. I guess. If I'm going to see a movie, though, in the summer, I don't want to, I don't want to, I want to feel... Like I'm in that environment. Well, listen, I told you around Christmas, I'll watch some Christmas movies. I'm a, I'm a seasonal guy. I watch movies according, but I can watch a winter movie. I don't know. Banging Sorry. Yeah. My question is, why not? <laughs> this is this is a so-called scary movie. Yeah. Why not wait till October? It takes place in winter, obviously. Yeah. 
Okay, even if it's not a winter movie, they start in the snow, right? So you have to assume it took place in the winter. Why not put it out in October? People want to be scared in October. I want, I want to be, be scared, scared all October. year round. I saw a thing today, an advertisement for some scary thing, like some boo fest or whatever that was happening in August. No so offense. Halloween is now Turning people around. love Halloween so much. It's just because I just I saw something in News Twelve posted. Uh, Lowe's is just a couple weeks away from their their Halloween decorations mm -hmm. being in the stores. I'm like, this is it's, it's ridiculous. It's Way too, too far. Early. It, it's it's ridiculous. like Christmas is too far now. Halloween's becoming the same thing where it's this now it's three months of Halloween. I saw an empty store today. Spirit <laughs> Halloween coming soon. Big sign. It's getting nuts. There's it's a fucking, not August. There's a uh, they have a Halloween. Uh, food spot in Farmingdale now. The no, that's spot. that's, that's, right. that's yeah, year that's long. And I don't understand. But that's my that. point. It's not. It's it's a year long Halloween it's, spot. It's, <sighs> people are obsessed with Halloween, I agree and with they're you, saying, they "Why are we waiting until <laughs> September? Yeah. Why do I gotta wait? I'm doing it all Let's year." Because all year that's around. why it's special. Because Halloween is a time where I want spookiness. Preacher, choir. <sighs> I get it. I I agree with that. My sister has a uh, Halloween tree up all year round. Come her, on, her, her, her you, you have to enjoy it's it. It's a black Christmas tree. It's her Halloween tree. She just keeps it up all year round. <sighs> I, I, I think mo that's mostly because of laziness, but <coughs> it's still there. All right. <laughs> um, I think, yeah. Can yeah, I mention a, one other thing? No, you I, can't. You're I, not allowed. I, no, this is it. And, and you I, already said you, one more thing, the last thing. Because <laughs> you guys probably don't care, but. No, we don't. Months ago, I had told you I ordered something online and it came in. And. Boy, was I disappointed. Mm. And I think you guys would be. You were disappointed that I even ordered this. Okay. I don't know if you remember. Do you remember what I ordered? I don't know if I do, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Now immediately I do. What was it? Kanye, the, the yays. The Ka Kanye, yeah, West. Kanye West. If you remember during the Super Bowl, Kanye West put out, like, uh, I don't know, he, his his whole th island was sinking, I guess. So he decided to everything sell was everything. like 20 bucks or something. Yeah. Like <clears throat> so I decided, you know what? I'll buy the Yeezy uh, slipper shoe, uh -huh. whatever it is, okay? 20 bucks, <clears throat> little drunk on Super Bowl night, I'll do it. I got them a couple, of, I got them about a month ago. They they I opened them up that day, and then they, they went back into the bag, never to be seen again. Look at these things. That's really them. Can you imagine? What is it for? What? Where would Are you wear legit? this? Are they the real? Like, did they come from his store? You went to his yes, store and got this on. This is the number two. Yeah, you, you care if I put it on? Put it on. Oh. It's not going to fit on your foot. What size? You put it on. It's so a on a sock. What size is it? It's a two. What does that mean, Kanye? It's a two. <laughs> those are those are um, scuba shoes. <laughs> they are scuba shoes. They're scuba shoes, and that's what you saw. What you wanted to buy when you bought them? I wanted that they were ten dollars, and I said I'll buy. <laughs> There what is, are you what doing? Are these? <laughs> They're a stocking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stocking. With the you soul. can't tell me it, nothing. It's socks I with soles. It's socks with soles. Socks with soles. <laughs> All right. Soul this socks. Is, it's it's the most ridiculous thing. In the winter, I am. I'm not. You're gonna make fun of me. By I the way, never I think, buy I these think this, want is, these. this is the right. We're on different foots. Different foots, it, right? No, I'm it right. looks backwards. No, mine is definitely backwards. Oh, you put yours on the right. Yeah, I put mine on the right. Oh, okay. An idiot. This is a ridiculous thing. <laughs> those look like something like uh, compression sock, like <clears throat> right. shoes. Yeah, those look like medical. Here's what I will say. Those look like medical. Footwear. For me in the winter, if I just wanted to, like, if I was outside, and I needed something to keep me warm. Yeah. That's the only purpose I could ever see wearing. These. I could and see I that. And I still wouldn't. I could see because it. it's not a good slip on. I because it takes a long time to yeah. put on. Like, wouldn't you just want to put on pants that were <laughs> covered your legs and then socks? Yeah, yeah. I'm and not... then like slides or something that you yeah. like no, to listen, wear. That's why I said I already have it figured. You know what I also don't like? I just don't like the foot like on top. There's nothing. Well, they say a foot. What should... is, did he say? What the purpose of this? I was? don't remember when you said you bought. The yeah, because there's a lot. He's got a bunch of different footwear things. He's got those big like spaceship yeah, yeah. looking ones. I think I thought that's what you bought. No, these are the Yeezy boots. I, I, I wish I do. I do not this wish that that's what you bought. Boot? It's what they call. These I believe. Like, so he wears I, okay, those, right? Like that's what he wears this. when he yeah, wears. Yeah, but like he his, also wears like you know all black yeah, hoods. Yeah, when he's wearing that, those are what's on his. These feet. are what's on his feet. 
But I just can't imagine. Like, yeah, you're right. Now, they I look, will say they they're made like, well. Well, yeah. I the, won't. Not I'm sure the they're made well. Like this is. Do you care? You want to say it? Yeah. But the, but the the original price for this was like three hundred dollars. What do you mean? It's. Yeah, you, I mean, made this, well. This like, is definitely the right. So that's definitely the left. So you guys yeah. definitely have these on backwards. No. Well, I had it on right because I put it on my right. He. Kept oh, all oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't put it on right. You guys both put it on your right foot. Yeah, these are ridiculous. But I just mean. How, how do you mean they're made well? How would you because know? Because this is a good sock. What I'm saying is the sock <laughs> seems like it's. I, it does. It seems like it's a well made sock, and the, they don't seem like cheesy fucking. I'm gonna wear these to work. It's kind of comfy though. Like I, it was kind of, but I could never wear that. No, I you, still feel like I have it on. It's, oh it goodness. sticks to you. It sticks to you. But it definitely. It look at that catch. Nice catch. It definitely. It definitely feels like. Maybe you Could have a bag. This is maybe a you have bag. like a, a blood pressure or a cardiac yeah, issue that you need to maybe like tie- flying shoes because they say yeah, when you're yeah. flying sometimes it's good to have uh Yeah. Yeah, if you're if you're hitting uh So do you think you'll ever use those for anything? Or those was that a This was it. This for the this podcast. This was the, this is it. Yeah. We have to incorporate so you can start writing shit like that off on your taxes. If we incorporate yeah. this podcast, then you can write that off in your taxes. Yeah, I did it. it That's it, why it's I said we got to go. We got to go. We got to adult babies, Inc. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, you, gave, you, so you, you killed two birds with one stone. Again. Listen. You, you gave a terrible person money, and you got you, you wasted it on terrible Do we hate Kanye? You know? Yes. By the way. Oh, no, no. Mean, no I'm not Kanye? saying. I, I was just curious. What do you mean he's curious? He's, he's I forgot about person. when I said that. I forgot about his uh, the, the Hitler comments. Yeah. yeah, he's made some bad comments. He's made also, some rough I, ones. His I first three comments. Aside from that, I've never loved his music. Aside from that, I love this. I love this first three. Yeah. I understand album. people liked it. I've never once enjoyed his music. That's not true. I, I, I've liked some songs here and there. He's got some bangers. Yeah, Kyle Dropout. I'm not a Kanye fan. It's a okay. great album. Okay, I've listened. I've listened to it. And oh, I never, I know, I never I liked it. I liked some stuff from was it Life of Pablo. I liked a couple songs off of that. See, I didn't like the best anything. thing. He's ever, like best, thing best thing he's ever done is produce a common album. B. He produced that front to back. One of my favorite albums of all time. Yeah, it's yeah, a great album. album. And it holds a sp- B holds a special place in my heart. Because it's called B. For, no reasons I won't talk about. But it it, it spells. It's a. It, I. It that's yeah. one of my favorite never albums. Never looking no. too far back. No, never looking back or too far in front of me. The present is a gift. It helped him get through his kidney transplant. No. Uh, anyway, Kanye. All right. Best thing he's ever produced. Kanye, We're awful at ending shows. Kanye that. isn't great. We're just going long is all. Twenty dollars for this, one hundred and fifty dollars for a lobster roll, though. All right, this still <laughs> yeah. lasts. All right, I can walk. In, <laughs> I can walk in gravel and I'll be all right. So point, point taken. Sure. <laughs> all right, guys, if you made it this far, thank you. Thank we you appreciate so much. You. Appreciate it. Yep.